Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2021, slot 1 DILR says that there are 7 people, 8 you can call them A to G in a town. Any pair of them could be either be strangers, acquaintances or friends. All relationships are mutual. For example, if Amudha is a friend of Bharatan, then Bharatan is also a friend of Amudha. Similarly, if Amudha is stranger to Bharatan, then Bharatan is also stranger to Amudha. So basically, the relationships are mutual. So if you say that X is friend of Y, then Y will be friend of X and so on. So whatever is the relation between X and Y will be the relation between Y and X. The table below gives partial information about these people's number of friends, acquaintances and strangers. So these people are seven and hence each person will have six relations because a person will not be related to himself, right? So we'll have total six relations. So for example, Gautam will have one friend out of these and Amudha will also have one friend out of this. So based on this table and the information given below, we need to find out what is the relation between each of these people. First statement says Amudha, Bharatan and Chandran are mutual strangers. So Amudha, Bharatan and Chandran are strangers. So Bharatan and Chandran will be strangers for Amudha. Similarly, Amudha and Chandran will be strangers for Bharatan and Chandran will have Amudha and Bharatan as strangers. This said seemed difficult but it was uh, not so difficult. I would rate this as a moderate one. Just that one needed to understand this concept of mutual relationship because most of the information is available here. You can keep on filling with the statements. Next says Amutha, Dinesh and Fani are Ezil's friends. Okay, so these are three friends of Ezil. That does not mean that Ezil has only three friends. Maybe he can have more than three also. But these three are definite. A, D, F are friends of Ezil. Okay. So, we have ADF. Now, with the same uh, mutual friend, uh, mutual uh, relationship uh, uh, logic, so A will have a friend E, right? D will also have a friend E and F will also have a friend E. So, mutual relationship that will help us fill the values. Chandran and Gautam are friends. So, C is the friend of G and G will have a friend that is C. Okay, so this is also done. Now, we have every friend of Amudha is an acquaintance of Bharatan and every acquaintance of Bharatan is a friend of Amudha. So, that means that if Amudha has one friend, that friend will be acquaintance of Bharatan and if Bharatan has X acquaintances, he will have, Amudha will have X friends. So, we will get the number 1 here. That means one friend of Amudha, that one person is acquaintance of Bharatan and there is only one acquaintance of Bharatan, that person is friend of Amudha. Similarly, every friend of Bharatan is an acquaintance of Amudha and every acquaintance of Amudha is a friend of Bharatan. So, likewise, we have one person over here who will be the friend of Bharatan will be acquaintance of Amudha and vice versa. Okay, so we have filled these information. So now it will give us that Bharatan also has four strangers. Okay, so that is now known to us. Now the next thing that we need to do is every friend of Amudha is acquaintance of Bharatan. So Bharatan has E has an uh, E as an acquaintance, right? Uh, now uh, as in is acquaintance of Bharatan. So, Ezil Bharatan will be acquaintance of Ezil. Okay, so this is how we are going to put the information. Now, uh, we have this person is equal to this person and this person is the same person, right? So, this will, uh, this person will be the same person who will be the acquaintance of friend of Bharatan and acquaintance of Amudha. Okay. Now let us think of who could that person be. This is same and these four, uh, these four people will be, uh, the other two will be same, right? Not A and B. Of course, they will be different, mutually strangers. So these two will be same. Now Bharatan and uh, Amudha 
Bharatan has a friend who is acquaintance of Amuda. Who could that person be? Chandran. See, Chandran is a stranger for both. So, Chandran cannot be that person. Okay. Dinesh. Dinesh is uh, like possible, right? Possibly we can put Dinesh. But let's see that if other people are also possible. So, if you put Dinesh here, Dinesh will come here. There is no harm in putting Dinesh. But let's hold on, put others. So, if you put Azil here, okay, Azil is not possible because Azil is already filled, right? Then Fani, Fani has only one friend, okay? So, Fani cannot be there and Gautam cannot be there because Gautam also has only one friend. So, only possibility is Dinesh. So, we will have Dinesh here and Dinesh here. So, that means the remaining two people are E, D, B, C, and then we have uh, F and G. Okay, so these are the strangers for them. Okay, F and G are the strangers. Now, see this, we will fill the same table for Dinesh also. Now, Dinesh has, uh, Amuda has Dinesh as acquaintance. Dinesh will have Amuda as acquaintance. Bharatan has Dinesh as friend. Dinesh will have Bharatan as friend. Okay, next we will have F and G having uh, A and B as strangers. Okay, so A and B are strangers. Now we have filled for Gautam the friend, the strangers. So remaining three people will be acquaintances. So A, B, C are filled, then D, E, F will be acquaintances of G. Okay, now what we will do is we will put in D, E, F, G. So, one acquaintance is G, one acquaintance is G, one acquaintance is G. Right? Now, if you observe, now the uh, statements are solved. We just need to fill in the table. Ezil has three friends, two acquaintances and one stranger. Three friends have been put. So, these two should be acquaintances. These are the two acquaintances that we have filled there should be one stranger. Now, who is that stranger? A, B, C is missing. So, C is the stranger, okay, for Ezil. Now, Ezil has C as the stranger. So, C will have Ezil as the stranger. Okay, so this is the. Now, we have Fani. Fani has one friend. Okay, two. Oh, now, Dinesh also we can see. Two are friends. Two are acquaintances and two are strangers. So the remaining two people are the strangers. A, B, C will be stranger, and then uh, D is uh, D is himself. E, F, C and F will be strangers. Okay, C and F are strangers to D. So D will be stranger to C, and D will be strangers to F also. Right now, A, B, E, D he has four strangers, so he should have one friend and one acquaintance. Now, friend is done. We need to find the acquaintance. A, B, D, E, G is done. F is remaining. So, F will be the acquaintance of C. Right? Now, F is the acquaintance of C. So, we will have C as the acquaintance of F. Right? Now, F has one friend, three strangers and there will be two acquaintances that we have filled. Now, let's just check out that if all the information has been filled, 1, 1, 1, 2 people, 3 people, 1, 1. Similarly, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 and 4, 4, 4, 2, 1, 3, 2. So, this is how we can complete the table, finding out who is related to whom through which manner, like who is friend, who is acquaintance or who is stranger with respect to another person. Now, the question is, who are Gautam's acquaintances? So, Gautam's acquaintances are Dinesh, Ezel and Fani. Which of these pairs share the same type of relationship? So, Bharatan and Chandran are strangers and Dinesh and Ezel are friends. So, not the same relationship. Chandran and Ezel, Chandran and Ezel are strangers. Dinesh and Gautam are acquaintances, so not the same relationship. Amudha and Gautam are strangers. Ezil and Fani are friends. Okay, so this is also not the same relationship. Bharatan and Ezil, these are acquaintances. And Fani and Gautam are also acquaintances. 
So these pairs have the same type of relationship. Who is an acquaintance of Amudha? So Amudha has Dinesh as an acquaintance. Who is an acquaintance of Chandran? So Chandran has Fani as his acquaintance. How many friends does Azil have? So Azil has three friends. How many people are either a friend or a friend of friend for Azil? Now friend, if you look at ADF are friends. Now we need to see friend of a friend. Okay. So A has friends as E. Okay. Same person. D has friend as B and E. So B will be called as a friend of friend of SL. Okay. And F has friend of E. Right. So these are the four people that are either friend or friend of friend for SL. 